The big station had various different sidings, sidings for coaches, trucks, and even a set of coal sidings as well. However, there was no permanent shunter, so engines of nearby platoons took it in turns to act as station pilot. This was quite inefficient. One morning, the staff officers had come to a decision on the matter. And all those in favour of Colonel Rigby's idea say aye. That settled then, we shall follow Colonel Rigby's idea. Yes. Thank you, Major. Now, as I've said before, my plan is... That an engine will be brought in permanently to act as station pilot at the big station. Say what now? We're going to have a new shunter at Gloucester, you old git. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Those older engines finally don't have to run around such a big yard. It's hardly big when you compare it to Kingmore Marshalling Yard. Fair enough. Did GHQ say when the engine will arrive? Uh, they said by tomorrow morning. Tom and George, you two are going to meet him and show him the ropes. Yes, yes sir. The next morning was rather peaceful. Tom and George pulled in with the milk train. Right then, Private. I suppose we'll wait here on the return sidings. Okay then, he should be here any moment now. Later. Any second now. Two hours later. Any moment now. Twelve o'clock midnight. Where's that little sh- A long time passed, and the two engines were still waiting. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, he's here. Who's here? No one but me, lads. Just me and the post train. Oh, for crying out loud. Who are you waiting for? The new shunter. He's late. Very, very late. I wouldn't be surprised if he was American. Those Yanks joined the last two wars very late indeed, but at least they helped finish the last one in big style, or rather with a bang. Nope, that really is an American. My first left team point with you, sir! Oh my, uh, d d d calm down for a bit. Uh, uh, I'm just a warrant officer. Also, you look bloody familiar. Where have I seen you before? What's a private first class? I think it's the equivalent of a Lance Corporal. The engines buggered off to work. Dean was shown round the yard and taught how to handle coaches and trucks. Then Tom called him over to the coal siding. Now you've learned how to tackle the rolling stock here, I think it's time for you to take a train down the line. Wait, what? You can take those trucks there. They're needed for the GHQ coaling stage. I like that. That's a good engine. Off you go now. Don't know the line. Meanwhile... I wonder where is Lowell? Stop pushing me, you utter bastard! Oh my, that was quick. Uh, are you ready, lol? Okay, I'm fine. What am I ready for? The annual GHQ award ceremony. This year you finally made it into the best warrant officer category. You get your very own brake van if you win. Oh my, this is good news. Unfortunately though... Bassist lost. There is another candidate who's strongly supported. His name's Company Sergeant Major Adam. When, when the, the hell, hell did you, did get, you here? get here? Two seconds ago. Thanks, Captain Jubilee Guy. Yeah. Anyway, 
Adam is a B1, and he's got many qualities that you don't, apparently. Pa, like what? Oh, you know, the usual manners, class, and language. That's right, my dear Andrew. I am first class material. Bloody hell, you're a company sarge. What's your regiment? The Royal Iron Lancers. Yeah. And what's yours, my dear engine? The Royal half assed Railway Artillery. My, my, such a rough group. Company Sergeant Major Adam swanked away, leaving the engine speechless. Well, sort of. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am as well. We, we have to no kill the bastard. Wait, what? I said we have to kill the bastard. I have the plans already, see? First, we're going to blah 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 this time I've ordered a large shipment of good quality coal for all of you. It's coming from the yard at the big station so you've got nothing to worry about. I suppose, but just because some of you do London runs, that doesn't mean that even tank engines can crack coal. I assure you, it's perfectly fine. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go and check up on the said batch of coal. The Colonel steamed away to find Major Cross taking on water. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've just come to check on that coal supply I ordered from the big station. Ah, yes, well, um, you see, there's been a tiny problem. Spit it out, Major. Well, first of all, you said you wanted a new shunter and they misunderstood. What? I thought I said I wanted a proper tanky. Apparently the workman heard Yankee. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Secondly, now an American is handling the yard. Guess who's pulling your coal train, sir? Hello? Anyone? Never mind. While preparations for the event were underway, Lol had to shunt trucks at the big yards. Shunting trucks, shunting trucks. Can my day get any worse? Why, hello there, my dear engine. Of course it can. Shunting trucks, are we? Ah, this is routine duty. I'm just filling in, that's all. You keep talking like that and you'll end up on the fish trains, my friend. How did you even come up with that, Sergeant Major? There's a fish train you need to take. Are you fucking kidding me? Lol hissed angrily as he backed down onto the line of vans. They were rolled and the train was pretty damn heavy. Fwah! I won't be able to get this off my tender for weeks. Enjoy the run, Lol. I'm sure you'll love it. Ta-ta! You snobbish bastard. Lol hurried along the line. He didn't want to dawdle about with 400 tons of fish behind him. Dear lord, this stinks. Soon he reached the top of the big hill just after the big station. He started to descend towards the west counties. All trains usually stop here to pin down brakes, but Lol was in such a foul mood that he forgot. What was that? The vans have gone and smashed their floorboards open. We're gonna get fish oil trailing us for miles. We'll stop at the next station and warn incoming traffic. Hang about. What if? Yes. Yes, that would work. Lol. What are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Lol jerked his driver so hard his flailing arms knocked his regulator wide open. The goods engine accelerated quickly and thundered down the hill. Now we'll see who's the better sergeant major. <laughs> To our favorite dock tank. For God's sake, I'm really lost here. I say, my dear engine, are you lost? I've been trying that for the past few hours. I'm supposed to take this coal to some place called GHQ or something. GHQ, eh? Hmm, don't worry, fellow engine. I'll take your train for you. You can head to a siding or 
something and sit there. Thanks, buddy. Adam was soon coupled up and sped away with the train. If he could rescue GHQ's morning ordered batch of coal, he was sure to win the award by default. But he reckoned without law. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast! Slow down, you crazy sod! His driver shut off steam and applied the brakes. Lowell soon dropped to line speed by the time he reached Princess Brisbane. Let's see if you can be best warrant officer if you can't even arrive properly. <laughs> I've heard that someone has picked up the train from the accidental Yang Chunter. Ah! Uh, right, time to stop and pin down brakes. What the? Ah! Adam's driver dumped the anchors and fucking broke them. Damn it, stop pushing! Further down the line, Lowell had returned from delivering the fish and stopped next to the two senior staff officers. Ah, Lowell, do you have any idea why the tracks are so slippy? I have no idea whatsoever. Do you know when Company Sergeant Major Adam will arrive? Ah, sir, he'll be arriving in about five. Five what? Five, four, three, two... Ah! Ah! One, sir, Company Sergeant Adam to see you two sirs. For close fans of the series, you will remember that Major Cross is also a snobbish twat. He's mellowed out a bit, but still retains a great deal of pride, especially his paintwork. My, my paintwork, you scratched it! Oh, come now, Cross. It's just a minor scratch on your tender. Sir! When will you be presenting the award to Sergeant Major Adams, sir? Award? Award? Stop that award. He scratched my paintwork, my lining. It's ruined. Does that mean he's not receiving it, sir? No, definitely not. I'll go get the breakdown train, sir. What did you do? Nothing much, just a bit of a cunning and on-the-go plan. Meh. I still cannot believe you've won, just by clearing up the mess that you created that nearly killed Company Sergeant Major Adam. It's fine, it's fine. He's not dead. I get the award. He's being sent to the works. All is good. After all, Simitos oh, and God, he's mentioning the war again. Across Europe. Our Panzer divisions have cleared all the obstacles for our might. The Royal half assed Railway Artillery. <laughs> Adam's driver dumped the ink and broke them. <laughs> Not many lines frankly there. Hmm. When do I get my toad? Or did I win something at the GHQ Best Lance Corporal section or something? I'd like to think I did. <gasps> oh my OMG! Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh.